Hey Denise, Roxy, you look so confused. Hi, look at those noses. So we've got a bit of a fun video for you today and that is because the piggies got sent some presents through the post. <laughs> wow, Phoebe just can't contain her excitement. But as I want to do a bit of a cage makeover, I am going to change the fleece, start off with a blank canvas and then we'll get into things. neutral grey fleece and I'm hoping to liven things up with a bit of colour. Biggies are just wondering what the hell's going on, why is there nothing in the cage? In fact I think they're quite angry. Yep there's a dirty protest already. Let's get started with the opening of what we've been sent through the post and we have these parcels to open and I have to say a massive thank you to Becca from Becca's Buddies. Thank you so much for sending us some new cage accessories. It has been so so long since the guinea pigs had anything new for their cage. Phoebe is already digging in and trying to open it herself. And I actually have a second camera set up on the piggies, so I hope we're going to get some interesting shots from that camera over there. But without further ado, let's get started before we eat too much of this tissue paper. And I'm going to go with this one. They've already kind of opened it themselves. Here goes. And oh... <laughs> That is so, so adorable and the bottom's a different colour and it's got a pad in, oh my gosh. Becca, thank you so, so much. I can't believe how cute that is. Oh, and it's so soft. Should we put that in for you, Phoebe? What's that? Oh, wow. I think you can just about get your bum in there, Roxy. <laughs> and I like how the fabric is the same on the outside as well as the inside. You haven't skimped on that at all. Oh, it's just so soft and lovely. I'm really excited to see the piggies snuggling in that one. Moving on, and we're gonna go for this one, which they are desperate to get into. Oh, yay. <laughs> This is so cool. Oh my gosh, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. <laughs> I haven't even <laughs> I haven't even opened it out yet, probably Phoebe. She's just in it. They clearly like it. Are you gonna let me look? So this is one of the things I actually saw on Becca's Facebook page and fell in love with immediately. It is this adorable foam tunnel. Phoebe is just chilling out in the cuddle cup, that's adorable. Are you going in, Pedro? I think we definitely like that one. And we will move on to package number three. I genuinely don't know what this one's gonna be. And ah, oh, cool, cool. Oh, this is so cool. So this is just some pads, but it's really nice how they are matching the other items. They are just so, so cute. And they're really cushioned as well. I think the piggies, especially Pedro, he is going to love sleeping on these. Well, I think I know which one you like best. So with our new cage accessories, I'm gonna go ahead, get some creative juices flowing and see whether I can redesign the cage and have a nice new setup. And I'm really pleased with how the cage is looking right now. I really, really love how bright and colourful that rainbow print is and how it really pops against the dark grey fleece. So let's have a look around. I'll give you a cage tour and some tips on decorating your own cages. And let's start off here in the middle. So as a bit of a change from normal, I've actually gone and put their hay room in the middle of the cage, which I do like to do sometimes as it kind of breaks up the spaces in the cage. This can be good if you've got territorial piggies who like to have their own individual spaces as well as those that they share together. So on this side of the hay room, starting off here, I have one of the new rainbow pads. I do like to use a pad just outside of the hay room. It works wonders for keeping the cage clean, gathering up any hay and poops that escape out of the hay room. And next to that, I have their main food and water station. I've just used one of my own orange pads under here because it goes with the orange and the rainbows and I didn't really want to use one 
over their nice pads to get covered in pellet sludge. So next to that over in the corner I have the new cuddle cup which I think looks so amazing. I've already seen Pedro and Phoebe having a little snooze in there so I have no doubt it's going to be a firm favourite. Then in this corner I've used one of their hammocks and instead of actually putting the fabric hammock bit in it because it is still quite hot and it does get hot in this room I'm just using them both in the cage at the minute without the hammocks on. Underneath this one I am using a bit of vet bed which probably goes against what I just said about keeping them cool. If you don't know what vet bed is then it is a fluffy absorbent bedding. Vets use it a lot for hospitalised animals or you can just cut it up and use it as pads around the cage to add in some different textures in there against the plain flat fleece. Okay so next up is a firm favourite of the piggies. This is the wooden arch and they really wouldn't be without it. It is one of their top cage accessories to have and I highly recommend it if you've not got one already. You can get them pretty much anywhere. The piggies really love it because I guess it has a natural feel and it's like an archway too and they feel completely undercover but yet it does have a big entrance on either side so it's good for us humans spying on them and seeing what they're up to and it's also good because they can't trap each other in there if you have dominant piggies. Then moving on round this is where I've put their rainbow tunnel and seriously I can't tell you how much I love this tunnel and I don't know whether I said but it's got that little removable pad in the bottom as well which is just something else that helps it keep its shape. Definitely recommend that one from Becca's Buddies. Then in this far corner I have another cosy item which is the Squeak Dreams Heidi Hut. I've put that in there for a bit of contrast mixing in a few pastel colours and just adding in something a bit different to the cage and it's also a really snug cosy spot and if you want to know how to make your own Heidi Huts like this one I do have a video on it which I'll pop up in the cards now and in the description below. Then moving on to this little corner so I've got Pedro's food and water bowl combo here. We have the other hammock and under this one I have put the second and rainbow pad. I think it looks so so cute in this corner. And then just to add a bit more variety I've gone ahead and draped over their cloud fleece over this entire corner which just makes it a little bit more cosy, a little bit more shaded and it can be good for nervous piggies if you have a corner like this. So if you're thinking about decorating your own cage and making things a little bit different you can pick out a few key matching items if you want to go for a bit of a theme and then use these against more natural products that are really versatile because you can use them in lots and lots of cage designs. So I'm very pleased with how the cage is looking and I'm so so happy with these cage accessories from Becca's Buddies. Thank you so so much Becca and if you want to go and check her out and order some items for yourself then I will leave all of her links in the description below. She is a relatively new cozy maker with some awesome products so if you're wanting to support a small business then definitely go and visit her links in the description below. Okay guys thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, enjoyed seeing the piggies and their new cage. As always, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye bye!